Okay, <laughs> I know you guys think this is crazy, but this is how I thaw out 50 pounds of max meat. I have to cage it because of my barn kittens that I rescued last year. And there's one of them right there. That's Theo. They get into it, so I have to cage it. Look at them. See? There he goes. I told you. Nobody believes me. Okay, see the plastic? See how it's got holes in it? They have reached their little paws through and pulled on it to try to get at the meat. Wicked little devils, aren't they? Okay, this is the meat process. So, um, I take it from the big case. I put it in um, a little a litter pan covered so that I don't have to like lift the 50-pound case on top of the stove. I have um, 22 bags already set up. I weigh it, so I cut it and I weigh it. And then any scraps that I don't want to feed out, usually like skin or, um, you know, icky fat. If it's, if it's like fat, like suet fat, then I will give it to them. But if it's that, I don't give it to them. But anyways, and then, so then I put that in a bag and... I stack it in this tote. Once I get nine, hi Bert, hi Bert. Once I get nine, I know Bert. Once I get nine packages, then I haul it to the freezer outside, the upright freezer, come back in and, and start all over. So this is like a three hour process, two and a half hours of cutting. And say hi Bert. Hello Bert. She's supervising. <laughs> I know. I know. And this is Theo trying to steal my meat. Theo, what are you doing? Get out of the sink. So anyways, this is a, a three-hour process. It's two and a half hours of cutting and then a half an hour of, of cleanup. I don't throw the scraps out. I do bag them and then I feed them out to the wild, um, you know, every now and then. So nothing goes to waste. So I'm cutting meat, and who is beside me watching? Say hello, Theo. Hi, Theo. <laughs> Theo is supervising the operation. Here we are. Woohoo! 26 individually packed meals at a pound and a half. So that's pretty good out of a 50 pound box. Below is the last shelf. When that shelf is finished, then I need to go pick up another 200 pounds of meat for Max. So probably sometime next month, which is September, that I'll be um, running down the road to get more meat for him.